How are you guys doing? This is Ryan, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I wanna do kind of like a preview video of my flip starter review. I'm gonna make a, like a formal video of like breakdown of you know all the people I've onboarded, the money spent, the promotions, and you know everything I've done with my flip starter and measure that up against the goals and where I wanna go and the flip starter's not over. And the way I look at it is to like, my flip starter's never over. <laughs> like. I, I uh, before I even did a flip starter, I um, made BCH content for over a year, and I ran BCH events and all that, and uh, everything kind of changed when I did a flip starter, and uh, like even from like the beginning, um, there's just kind of like this toxic nature towards flip starters in general. Uh, there's like this kind of like I guess community owner ownership thing that happens to you. And uh, yeah, you'll catch a lot of uh, uh, a lot of flack. I haven't caught too much, but yeah, I caught some recently. So I wanted to kind of just broadly talk about it, and yeah, I'm going to make a, a video detailed about everything in terms of. I want to explain where I'm, I'm generally at. You know, um, in terms of merchant onboarding, uh, the number is around 60, 60 merchants now in South Florida uh, accept Bitcoin Cash. Um, from various markets and industries. And, uh, you know, it was a uh, merchant onboarding goal. The The target of the flip starter was 100. And, uh, you know, I raised, uh, at the time, the market value was around $30,000 US. Um, Bitcoin Cash was right around $300. Uh, sorry, $330 at the time. And today we're about $108. So the, the funds got cut, you know, more than a, a you know, two thirds, which is happens in crypto, right? <laughs> um, just the, uh, the cycles of the market. So um, the funds isn't really a big deal. I mean, certainly I've outspent in terms of like TOS systems and marketing materials and different things, you know, uh, have far spent uh, the market value. So I, and I have no problem, you know, investing my own funds into the ecosystem. That's, that's what uh, we all need to do. You know, we all need to help the ecosystem, help each other, and uh, support each other. Um, for example, the Bitcoin Cash Charity Golf Tournament I did last year. You know, I got a lot of help and support. Really appreciate it. It was an amazing, amazing, high class event. Sorry, getting a little bit of wind here. Uh, really, really great event. And uh, yeah, but, but you know, I came short of paying all the bills by about ten thousand dollars and I, I covered the bills and uh that's what that's what you do you know um and you know it kind of brings me back to like getting uh by, by one gentleman uh he'll probably watch this video bitcoin zuela uh you know i hate to like you know i, I feel like it should be addressed because it does bother me um really kind of came out and attacked me uh, because i have not hit my flip starter goals yet <laughs> and uh yeah, I find it interesting, um, you know, like the style in which he came at me. Um, certainly, like I did raise community. I don't even think he like donated to my flip starter, but that's another story. Uh, but certainly, you know, if anyone can ask me about what, I, what I'm doing, right? Especially if you, especially if you gave me funds, right? So, uh, yeah. So to put some more thought into that, you know, it. And really like attacked me and you know I, I feel like there's an old saying is that there's uh two two ways to build the tallest building in town or the tallest house in town right you can go out and build the biggest fucking house in the town or the biggest building and you can have the tallest building or you can tear down everyone else's house and you will have the biggest house so I, I feel like that gentleman has that kind of philosophy uh, and the, his style of uh, um, participating in the community uh, kind of tries to tear people down and I think it makes him feel taller. And uh, I've, I've dealt with people like that in the past. Um, and I yeah, try to be civil with him, talk with him, but really it was publicly like attacking me and like it was leading other people um, to say negative things about me as well. And, you know, someone that, like, I, you, you know, worked super hard for this uh, to, to, to deal with that. And I think that was, uh, so, you know, I, I, I said to do, like, please stop, you know, 
attacking me, like you can go live on my YouTube channel with me and we'll have a discussion and I'll be happy to address any of your concerns, but he kept on going on. So I, for the first time ever, I blocked someone on Twitter because uh, I felt like he was using my platform uh, to <laughs> attack me. And, uh, and, and some people who didn't know any better, like believed him, you know? So um, like I've taken everyone's funds and have run off of them, so. Um, but to be more specific um, about where my flip starter's at, and you know, and I'll get a lot more specific. But yeah, I came out of the gate gunning. You know, we we onboarded a ton right away. We got the funds. We we got to work even before the flip starter started. Bought all the POSs and continue going. All the marketing materials. We made a bunch of great content. I made other videos about that too, highlighting that. So. Um, and yeah, and you know, I, I got to a level and a few things happened where I kind of had to pause my flip starter to address things in my business and personal life so I can get out more and, and help Bitcoin Cash or you know things I care about more. So uh, I talked about like my my business, you know, I had I had to do a lot of hiring. You know, I've hired a an inside sales rep, a project manager, more people in the warehouse, you know, I've increased my uh, payroll by well over 200 probably close to $250,000 a year um, and hires just in the past few months and uh, you know that's an investment like I had to make uh, you know people don't realize most businesses actually go out of business uh, and during growth rather than declining it's a misconception people have um, and uh, growing a business is sounds like amazing oh you're growing doing that it is it is amazing but like you you have to do it right and uh you have to take care of the house you know you have to take care of a lot of things you know so that's been a big focus of mine getting that under control you know an average day for me was looking like you know out of my house by seven i make a hard stop to get home every day at 6 30 to see my children and my family eat dinner i uh, get my son down by 8 30 and that would you go from about nine to midnight pass out and do it again I don't know if I'm just getting older or, you know, I've been getting some blood work done to kind of just try to increase my energy, but I was getting tired <laughs> and, um, and the stress was getting to me a little bit. Uh, stress tends to play out on me physically. So I've been doing other things like meditation and yoga. And since I've made these hires, I've been able to, uh, cut off that night shift and get some sleep and, and I feel better. I feel a lot better. You know, my immune system feels stronger. My mental state feels amazing. I'm starting to feel creative again. Uh, you know, I wasn't feeling creative. I was, I was feeling like I was running and gunning and just gas every day. But now with the additional hires, um, things are looking really good to close out the year. Uh, and we're working on projecting next year. And, you know, with all that said is, you know, as I improve these things, I can, can continue building. And not, not that I'm really ever stopped. But it is kind of like a pause in how much I've been building and producing content and working on my flip starter um, since uh, you know uh, you know it's been, it's been slowed down because of these things. So yeah, I really don't appreciate like people trying to paint me in that kind of way, you know, because I, I don't feel like. Um, I deserve it and and one you know i think just deep down like i don't like to let people down like that's kind of a probably natural trait of mine and, and like i wish like i could say yeah i'm over a hundred merchants onboarded and you know and i'm doing all these amazing things and bitcoin cash is going to the moon right like <laughs> uh those things will happen <laughs> uh but but you know if you see someone let's say struggling from their goal like i like i have employees that are are, are struggling like, I'm not going to go over there and just attack them, right? <laughs> I'm going to try to help build them up and improve to reach their goals. So, especially like we're in a community, if you see someone even just underperforming your expectations of them, maybe reach out and offer to help. Because <laughs> uh, they, they, uh, they might need it. Um, so, with that said, just, you know, like I said, I'm going to make a more detailed video, kind of giving the community, like, a better look. And, uh... Like I think, like, would I ever do a flip starter again? Uh, I don't know. I, I'd probably lean towards, towards maybe no, uh, and just kind of 
I'm doing something interesting, just like ask on my channel or something like, hey, if you want to help or, or if you guys are doing something interesting, you know, how can I help you kind of thing, right? Like the whole flip starter using the platform, like the kind of uh, ownership people think they have over you is, um, for me, at least it feels undeserving or at least the, at least the manner I was being approached. Um, I do think that, you know, there is possibly, there could possibly be flip starters that are, are worth being criticized. And I'm not like excluded from that, you know? And, and um, I think the way you can criticize them is, you know, most people I think are receptive and reasonable and want to do good. Um, I was really fortunate when I got my flip starter going, I had, you know, uh, Mark Phil's on down here. Uh, even I had David Baum was down here. I know some people were upset about that. Um, he did, but he did help me. Uh, and then some other people that do not want to be disclosed in the community that are kind of more private, you know, came and helped me. So I had a lot of help and resources. And it was amazing. And like that's the kind of like community building I want to get behind because you know we need we need help to to, to do this to build the project. Uh, it takes more than you know one person. Um, I should be careful saying that because just look at what Sonny's done in the Caribbean, but he has help out there. I've been out there. I know he has a good uh, ecosystem of help, but he is a, an amazing um, talent for sure. And uh, you know, he's done a lot of good for Bitcoin Cash. I'm super excited to get out to St. Kitts and uh, keep the creative juices flowing. And I really want to talk to the Any Hedge guys, the uh, General Protocols, about what they've created.